Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to take you guys behind the scenes doing a little speaking engagement. If you don't know, I am a public speaker and I have a public speaking engagement today at the University of Buffalo. And I don't know that I'm gonna film the entire engagement because it's not fun or engaging for you guys unless you're in the room to watch me talk for like an hour. But I thought it would be cool to kind of bring you guys along behind the scenes at getting ready for a speaking engagement, kind of like the prep that I do, all that kind of stuff. Maybe I'll even show you guys a little bit of my slide decks. I have some meetings and stuff. I have a lot of work to get done before I leave for the gig but used my time during my lunch break to get all ready so got my hair in a fun little clip that's my alarm going off for my meeting because I have a meeting in literally like five minutes so it's it's really busy it's been a very busy week but i'm really excited for this gig and i am mostly dressed for the speaking gig and i need to leave in about 20 minutes i am loving how my makeup looks i'm gonna throw on actually just a tiny bit of lip liner maybe a tiny bit more eyeliner i'm obsessed with the charlotte tilbury pillow talk lip liner Like, is that? Yeah, it's looking pretty good. That's my alarm. And also on my lips, I'm gonna use, I just got this in today. I'm so excited. I got the... Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. I got just the vanilla. It's clear and I am obsessed. I understand why everyone's obsessed with Summer Friday's Lip Butter Balm now because this is so good. It feels so good. It's not like sticky. Mm, it's like the perfect glossy lip. It looks so good. I'm obsessed. So happy about that and I'm wearing my Charlotte Tilbury blush wand blush and I love how that looks too. So the new makeup has been slaying. I'm like literally Princess Polly head to toe today. I am wearing Princess Polly trousers. This is a Princess Polly mock neck and then this is a Princess Polly sweater. <laughs> I just parked. I have like all my stuff with me. I, I've got a lot of stuff to like gather and then walk into the building. Um, I'll show you guys a little bit in the building. I need to pee. I need to like get myself all ready. I have like a little, I like listen to a few songs and get my energy good before any speaking gig. So I'm ready to do that. And if you know me, you know I'm a morning person and evening speaking gigs are not my jam. So this is going to be essential. Got myself a little matcha. I'm obsessed with my outfit. I've never done a speaking gig in this outfit and I'm feeling good. I'm feeling cute. I'm feeling confident like my little hair. Pulled back in a clip. We've got good vibes right now. The sun is shining. It's really helping. So I found the room that I'm gonna be speaking at and I have about 10, 15 minutes before my talk so I'm getting all excited. I have my matcha, my water, all ready to go. My nose has been running like crazy today so I need to make sure to like get a few tissues but I'm so excited for this speaking gig and I'm so excited to eat dinner with Jen after. Oh, I'm so cold, oh my God, it's so cold out. But we that went so well. Oh my god. That was so much fun. The students were great. It's always so funny whenever I talk to students. I always feel like groups of students, like no one ever likes asking the first question in a classroom. And so I've learned if you're a public speaker, here's the tip to get the audience to just like get over the hurdle and the discomfort that they feel in asking you questions so that you can get the post talk chat like the Q&A, 
because that's my favorite part. So you can get that Q&A started smoothly is after you talk and you say like, does anyone have questions? Just say, oh, no one wants to ask the first question. Come on guys. Or something like that. Like make light of it. I'm looking for my car. If you know me, you know. I never know where I parked. It's a constant struggle to find where my car is. Here it is, okay. So yeah, you gotta say something like that. You gotta say something that's like inviting and friendly and be like, come on, I know you guys have questions or like something like that. And it just like automatically warms the audience. It gets them feeling more comfortable and gets them asking questions. <laughs> oh. I'm in such a good mood. I'm gonna go to Thai show now to pick up sushi for me and Jen and then head over to Jen's. Friday morning. I didn't end up filming obviously anymore last night. I was with Jen. We had such a nice dinner. Oh, I'm just like, I can't believe that she's leaving Buffalo in less than a month. So I, yeah, it was just like, I didn't want to like be super vloggy last night. I just wanted us to like have the time together to talk, catch up about everything. Heard event about just like what a major change and transition this is for her. Cause I know if I were in her shoes, I'd be feeling super overwhelmed with everything. So yeah, it was just so nice. And I'm so excited cause she's going to come over tomorrow and I'm going to get more time with her tomorrow. And today's Friday. So that's nice. I'm going to do a little workout. I have a lot of work that I need to get done and I have a lunch today. So which means like I can work late if I need to, like I might still have a few things that I need to do for now after this lunch. But I've got a lunch with my committee for, I'm on a committee as a part of the board that I'm on for the UB School of Management Alumni Association. So I'm on that board of directors and I organized a little lunch at Fat Bob's for our committee today. So that'll be really nice because I haven't seen my fellow committee members in a really long time. I don't really know if there's literally anything that I can eat at Fat Bob's, but it's a restaurant that was started by a UB alum. We try to pick specific places that are started by people that went to UB and that was one of the places it's downtown, it's a good location. I just don't know if there's much I can eat, so I need to make sure that I get myself something to eat here. Have a big breakfast or something before I go so that if there's not much I can eat, it's not a big deal for me. So yeah, got a lot to do this morning. It's a busy Friday. <laughs> done with work for the day and I put on a tiny bit of makeup, a little bit of blush and highlight, a little bit of eyeshadow, silver eyeliner, and some lip liner. Dress, I'm wearing this super, super cozy sweater that I've had forever because it's like gross out, like cold and rainy. I'm wearing underneath um, my parade ribbed black long sleeve and then these gray Abercrombie jeans. I love this sweater so much. It's so, so cozy. It's like wearing a blanket. So yeah, I'm, I was gonna say I'm not looking forward to this lunch. That's not true because I'm looking forward to seeing the women that are on the committee with me. I'm just not looking forward to going outside. 
in the rain because it's so gross out. But we're gonna go to Fat Bob, eat some barbecue. I don't know what I'm gonna get yet. I was looking at the menu. They have gluten-free mac and cheese though. So that's pretty freaking exciting. Do you think, I'm actually curious, do you think I should get, I'm torn between whether to get like a burger with no bun. Okay. His face is already like, oh, what? Why would you do that? You get a burger and a smokehouse. I, I just, so I, I think I'm gonna go with the other option, but my, my <laughs> first choice, my, not my first choice actually, my second choice of what I'm thinking is a burger with no bun. The other thing that I'm thinking is getting an appetizer as my main course. They have nachos. And they like will do like brisket on top. So I'm like, should I do nachos? Oh, Goody's growling. What should I get, Goo? Gumbo with rice. Goody's like, you don't eat meat. You shouldn't get either of them. What should I get, Mr. Goo? Hi. That's so sweet. That's so sweet. You get the baby? I was gonna suggest going to Fat Bob to this little pig soon because I'm craving barbecue or Tutan or Compass Run. Yeah, we should go to Tutan. We've got the I'm gift very card. I'm hungry, so I'm just naming all these good restaurants. So yeah, I just have to like put on my shoes, grab my jacket. I've got a few minutes before I have to go, but I want to like put my bag together and everything so that I'm just like all set. I honestly don't know what bag I want to bring. Maybe I'll just bring my like canvas tote bag. Yeah. Or I'm like, do I bring this other bag that like matches more? No, we're just gonna keep it simple and go with the canvas tote. I'll probably end up ending the vlog at some point shortly after lunch. And if you guys have specific things you wanna see on my channel, please let me know in the comments below. Like if you guys like seeing food videos more where I'm making recipes or showing products that I love to eat, or if you guys like seeing like date night spots in Buffalo, just let me know. Like I love making videos and I would love to know what you guys specifically wanna see. So don't be shy and put it in the comments. I just just got back from lunch. Matt just dropped off our rent check. You wanna say hi to the vlog? Hi vlog. I had such a good lunch at that box. Wanted to show you guys because I have a whole bunch of leftovers. I got nachos. You guys, these nachos are so good. Like, mmm. And they had gluten-free mac and cheese. Obviously, I got gluten-free mac and cheese on the side because if there's gluten-free mac and cheese offered anywhere, it doesn't matter anything else, I'm getting it. Like, I'm ordering it, no matter what. So, that was really good. I love how I like just got back from lunch and I'm already eating my leftovers. Mmm. That's really good. So yeah. And now we have like four hours until we go out for dinner tonight with my friend Heather and her boyfriend, who I've never met, so I'm excited for that. And I also have a little thing, like a little bit of work to do. So I need to text my team actually to tell them that I'm home and could make this post that never got out earlier. And I'm home and they don't leave until I'm watching 3, 3.30 polos. and I to deal with the noise, so. From that. So yeah, just having a nice chill afternoon and I figure keep the vlog going for like a full Thursday, Friday in the life. I am in the car. Hey Goo, look at the vlog. Goody, look at the vlog. Got Goody here. Matt just ran inside to grab. I forgot my battery and my phone is at 10%. So I need my spare charger. But we're in the car. Matt just got a call that his car is ready from the shop. So I'm gonna go take him. It is... What time is it? 3.06 p.m. It's like 20 minutes. It's in Grand Island, the mechanic that he goes to. So it's like 20 minutes away. So we'll be back by four. But it was Matt's sweet idea to bring Goody with us in the car. So we're taking a little family road trip and I wanna tell you guys the story of what happened to his car because it was wild. Like Matt's car battery just died while we were driving in it. Thank God we weren't on the highway. It was honestly nuts. And what's crazy is like my car battery had died and then Matt jumped mine and we're like, oh my God, did jumping mine like suck all the life out of his battery and that's why his died? I don't know. And I'm also wondering, did they give him a new battery or did they just like need to jump his car? So yeah, that, that's what we're doing before dinner. Oh, and my camera battery is gonna die. Cool. I was telling the vlog that about what happened to your car and how it just like literally died while we were driving on Wednesday. I didn't tell them like the whole thing, but 
I was wondering, did they give you a totally new battery? Yeah, when you you okay. don't you don't just get like a partial battery. Okay. Well, no, 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 not a partial. <laughs> I didn't know if they jumped it or if they gave you a new battery. No, no, no. I mean, if it's nine years old, she's like, you need a new battery. So quite literally, like my car died to save yours. Just, just want to say, <laughs> it's like actually what happened. That's I said to the vlog. He took he, the that soul you, out of it. I sucked the soul right out of it, and then he needed Which a new battery. Which we should look at yours. Yeah. Battery's gonna die Don't hit too. the guy. I'm not gonna hit the guy. So vlog, we're about to hit a guy, and he's judging us. He, for having a yeah, camera he out. just he just judged me real, real hard. He like as if he could hear me say, "I'm not gonna hit the guy." What a boomer. <laughs> he is a boomer. Guy is a boomer. We are home from dinner. I didn't end up taking you guys. No, Gouda. No, we're not playing this game. Home from dinner and Gouda is on his shit. He didn't waste any time trying to steal things. Just being a big goober. I'm getting into cozy clothes. And I was gonna bring you guys to dinner, but I forgot the camera at home. It was so nice. It was such a lovely dinner. The food was so good, first of all. You've never been, ooh, I need to brush my teeth because I, I just remembered I ate a taco with peanuts. And if you know, you know, Matt's allergic. So I need to brush my teeth, but. We went to Casa Azul. Come here, Mr. Troublemaker. So yeah, we went to Casa Azul. It was so good. We got the like queso fundido dip. When I tell you guys this was so good, hold on. I know that Kuda's gonna jump into my laundry right now. Gouda, what are you doing? He's being so sassy because we went out for dinner. And you want attention, come here. Guys, this dog is so fucking needy. I'm gonna close the door and so what he's gonna end up doing is stealing one of my shoes. Mark my word, got this queso fundido dip that was so good. Oh my God, it was amazing. And then I got... tacos. There was a Brussels sprouts taco. It was so good. A peppers and potato taco and another one. A cauliflower one. They were really really good. So nice. See Heather. I hadn't seen her in almost two years. She is just crazy. She's just a friend that whenever I'm around I giggle. I feel like we always have great conversation. So it was really nice to just see her in general but then also just to go on a double date because Heather hadn't met Matt and I got to meet her boyfriend Joe. So yeah it was just so nice. I'm so glad that we did that. I'm excited to eat like a little dessert. I actually want to share with you guys one of my favorite desserts. So stay tuned because I'm going to share that with you guys in just a few. But yeah, I'm going to wash my face, change into cozy clothes, and then share with you this dessert that you need to try. A big goof. A big goof. Someone's being a big goof. Are you being a goof? Did you have fun at dinner? I did. And it was just like, so in the moment, um, it was very nice. Was and then nice. we got home leisurely, and I got to watch the end of the Sabres game. They won in overtime. Oh, nice. Um, the Go sports. They're solidly in the playoffs. They've already clinched the playoff spot, and they've been playing very well. And we beat them. That's so. awesome. These are the cookies I wanted to show you guys. This is kind of how we're gonna end out the vlog is with this little cookie review. Because I've been getting really into Char products lately. Char makes a really good variety of gluten-free products. They make like breads and crackers and so many different kinds of cookies and things like that. So they make these which are called chocolate thins and it's just like a little regular plain cookie with chocolate on the outside. It's so simple, but they're so good. And the thing that I love about Char is a lot of their stuff. So you'll see like, I already ate one pack. Maybe I've eaten two packs. I don't know whether they come with three or four in the box, but it's these individually wrapped packs that have four cookies in them. So I'm pretty sure it's three little cookie packs. To one box. They individually wrap those. I absolutely love the cocoa wafers. These are not individually wrapped, but the other thing they make that is individually wrapped is they make this twin bar, which is basically a gluten-free Kit Kat. And the coolest thing is they are like it's three individually wrapped bars. So it's like it's a twin bar, so it's two of them. It's amazing. Like when you open this, I'll show you guys.
This is what's inside. You have three of them. It's the best. I'm never not gonna share the good gluten-free finds that I find. So Char Twin Bar. And honestly, you can't really go wrong with the Char products. Like give them a try, see if you like them. I think they're really good. Oh, great, Goody. Don't choke. Good is just eating his breakfast now. It's the first thing you're eating all day, buddy. I'm gonna eat these little cookies while sitting on the couch with Matt, watching Love Island. Like, oh, what a beautiful, glorious way to end the week. So nice to do so much socializing this week. It was a very social week for me. Matt and I went out for dinner for his grandpa's 85th birthday on Wednesday night. On Thursday, I had my speaking engagement at UB, and then I went over to Jen's for dinner, and then earlier I went to Fat Bob's for lunch with my UB board committee, and then dinner with Heather tonight. So just seeing a lot of people this week. It feels good. It feels good to be healthy, to be back out, socializing in the world. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna end the vlog off here. If you guys like it, hit the thumbs up, and be sure to hit the bell and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Possible thumbnail even though this lighting is so bad. That's actually a joke. I don't think I will use that as a thumbnail at all but yeah